Hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are doing well out there. Welcome to yet another conference. Um, all honor, glory, and praise be to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I was just strolling through the internet and I had ran across, um, I guess they call them shorts. And um, there was somebody on there that was talking about, um, <clears throat> I guess they had been manipulated by somebody who had ran some game on them. So I just felt the need to um, address a certain issue that is typical behavior of a narcissist, um, which would be something that they call gaslighting, which is basically, um, I think the psychological term is gaslighting. And um, it is when an abuser manipulates their victim by trying to twist their sense of reality. So it is basically when people try to tell you that you didn't see something that you knew you saw. Um, let me tell you something about people that gaslight because you know, there is so much of that going on, especially among uh, young women who are um, inexperienced in these Males out here that are no good and that are players, they are really destroying you all emotionally. And um, i got to say, um, you all, you're, you're just going to have to, um, you need a close relationship with God Almighty in these last days. Because what we have out here on this earth. Oh my God, what we have on this planet nowadays, I'm telling you, um, there's no other way to deal with what's out here now other than to seek the counsel of the almighty God because there are some wicked people in this world and they are manipulators, they are liars, they are deceivers. And it's not only for the younger women, it's for you ladies that are more mature and not only for women, it's for men as well. So you fellas out there, you all can get gas lit by um, a lot of these player, player hoes out here, I'm telling you. But I particularly wanted to hold this conference for um, the ladies. Um, one of the tactics that I know to be true of a narcissist is... A narcissist, <clears throat> excuse me, will always try to tell their victims that they knew who they were prior to getting involved with them. So basically, a narcissist has a twisted way of telling their victim, um, whatever I did to you or however I treated you, you asked for it because you knew the type of dude that I was when you met me. And see, that's a... That's psychological abuse, ladies, whether if you know it or not. So for those of you that may be experiencing that, that's psychological abuse because, see, that's their way of not accepting responsibility for disrespecting um, the lives or the life of another human being. It is their way of relieving themselves of the guilt of feeling like they did something wrong because they want their victims to um, have the feeling of, well, you asked for it. Because if you knew who I was um, and accepted me anyway, I'm just speaking from maybe how the narcissist would say it. If you knew who I was and you accepted me into your life anyway, you asked for whatever treatment I threw upon you. But see, that is a narcissist way of not wanting to accept responsibility for their own dirty character and their own immoral actions against you all. Okay? It's a twisted psychological plot that they have. It's, it's very um, manipulative. Is very demonic. It is the mind orchestration from Satan, the devil himself. And um, it is something to basically um, cause you all emotional instability. Okay? So I think it's very important for you women out there to study narcissism. You know, so that at least you know what to look for in these males out here. Because there are so many out here. And uh, like I said, what what urged me to make this video was when I saw that on the internet and I'm like let me just um, put a word put a word out there 
because you know I've even we've all had people to try to um, gaslight us and manipulate us and you know I personally I um I just had to set it off on somebody maybe a, a few days ago or maybe a day or so ago who thought they were gonna gaslight me and I'm like okay wait a minute because I know you must be crazy if you think you're gonna manipulate me because I will destroy you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not the one for no games. I don't know about you ladies out there, but I don't play no games. And this is somebody I'm not even involved with. But I'm thinking to myself, look, look here. You might run, do your mess to other people, but you're not going to do it to me because I'm cut from a different cloth. And I will put you in your place. I will make, you know what? I will put that person in that place so bad they'll be in tears by the time I'm done with them. I, oh, this sister right here, I don't play. And I definitely, you know, like the way these other women out here might go back and forth and play with people, even if it's just a friendship, because a narcissist doesn't have to be somebody you're romantically involved with. A narcissist could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, look, I'm not that chick for that because I'll come back at you and I'll tear you down. You know, so you better get on with that. Find somebody who's going to play the game because I am the game, you know. And I just feel like... Um, I don't know. Um, let me tell you ladies something. A narcissist, as many of you may know, is somebody that will also try to use you all to make other people jealous. And see, I don't play that either. Because I'll embarrass somebody and quit. And I had somebody to try to do me like that. Um, oh, it's been maybe a few days ago. And I actually did a video on it. I just didn't post it. I had tried to find it a minute ago, and I got to go through my videos to find it. I, I might post it. I'm, I'm going to listen to it one more time to make sure that it's what I want to present. And if it is, I'm going to post it because I look at it this way. You know, if, if a person doesn't want me to come back at them, don't come at me initially. But, um, yeah, it was just a situation where I believe somebody was um, interacting with me to try to make somebody jealous and I put them in that place because I'm like look here don't be trying to pull me into your bull crap because I'm not the one for no games because I'm telling you I'll set it off on somebody and like real quick like you know and the person was like oh no you know whatever you know and um because you know I, I just don't play no games I'm a no nonsense type chick and I know I'll hurt somebody so you know and um that it was a deal where, you know, it's in my other video. I'll probably end up posting it, but just to give you all a brief rundown, because maybe some of you sisters out there need to hear this so that you know how to handle your situations or to give you some idea as to how to handle people who try to gaslight people. But I was just in a friendly, I don't say friendly, just a general, in general conversation with somebody. It was nothing really. And um, somebody that the person is having sex with began walking up. And when the female looked over and saw me conversating with the person i could feel um off of the female that the female was emotionally hurt by the person talking to me and then the person immediately looked at the female and said something to the female and ran off after the female so i'm thinking what the world is going on with this mess here you know and then um i went on and did what i had to do but I had made up my mind. I said, well, you know, when that person comes back, I'm going to put them in their place. You know, because don't be trying to use me for no mess. I don't, I don't do no middle man, third man mess. Don't be trying to involve, involve me in your hookups and sexual encounters and hooker stuff. And, you know, I, I, that that's not who I am. And I'm definitely not nobody to toy with. I mind my own business and I don't be getting in other people's business and their affairs. So when the person came back, you know, I, I, I let them have it. I gave them a few choice words and I walked off. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of chick I don't play. You know, I'll put you in your place. And um, then the person wanted to know what I was talking about. And I told them, which the person played dumb and tried to act like they didn't know what I was talking about. But that person knew what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because they kind of laughed. That's why I said, I told them, I said, I'm going to put that person uh, in their place when they come back. But see... Uh, what that person failed to realize is that I'm not nobody they need to be trying to play with like that. Because, see, if this was back in the day, I would have cussed them out and set it off on them. You know what I'm trying to say? So they, they better be glad that, you know, I know I've been changed. And, uh, you know, because I'm not the one. I'm not the one because if I set it off on them, they might think that it's something to laugh at. But by the time I'm done with them, they'll be in there crying. 
because I'm going to read them in front of everybody. You know, and I put the person in that place and, you know, don't be trying to pull me into your mess because, see, the thing about dealing with a person that's a narcissist, or and I wasn't dealing with the person, it was just a small talk, but my point is this, I, I was under the impression that they were trying to use me to make somebody else jealous and I'm letting them know, look, I'm not I'm not that type of chick. You need to go find somebody else for that because I don't do things like that. You understand? I don't, I just thought that's not my role. You know, I'm, I'm just a hundred like that. I don't do nothing, you know, to try to do nothing against nobody else like that. It could be a chick I don't like, but if I don't like you, I ain't got to bother you. You know what I'm saying? But don't be trying to, I ain't about no dudes trying to pull me into nothing because I know when I snap, I snap. And I know I always snap. So, you know, it's best for somebody like that. Don't be torn with me because I'm definitely not your toy. You know, not nobody for nobody to be playing with like that. And so, basically, I gave the person the rundown. Letting them know, you know, don't don't play with me. I'm not that one. And, of course, they were playing dumb and stupid like they didn't know what I was talking about. But they know exactly what I was talking about because the person I was talking to was a straight-up player. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to play with me because I don't know you like that, you know. And, um... Anyway, I just want to let you all know, you know, that a narcissist, you, you really have to put your feet down with those types of people. And you really and you have to let them know where you're coming from and let them know, look, let me tell you something. I don't care about you being a narcissist. I don't care about your gaslighting and nothing, but you're not going to gaslight me. Because, you know, you better go over there and play with somebody who don't know no better. You know, because I'll hurt you. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I'm not telling nobody to be like I am, but I know I will. I just don't play no games. You know, I'm just a straight-up chick like that. I don't play no games. And uh, I think that it's time for women to put their, their foot down out there. I'm not saying you all got to be like me, but, you know, um, I think that you need to set boundaries with people and just let them know that um, out of all the chicks out there, you, you're just not that one. And uh, another thing you ladies need to do, you know, Stop getting your, try to stop getting your emotions involved with these men. And then for you ones out there that are sleeping with these men, I would greatly advise you to stop. Because one thing I know about narcissistic men, they just want you to get your emotions involved through uh, sexual encounters also. That's why a lot of ladies, they get dropped after they, what they call give it up. Because, you know, those men, they know what their intent is when they meet you all. Excuse me, you know. They already know when they're standing in your faces, they've got about five, six, seven, eight or more other chicks waiting in the shadows for them, okay? But, you know, some men just have the mentality that they just want all these notches on their belts. Don't be their notches. You know, you need to wait on whoever God has appointed for your lives, okay? And the only way for you all to wait on who God has appointed for your lives, you have to have a relationship with God to be able to hear his voice, to be able to hear his voice, to know if that man standing in your face is the one. That's what I'm trying to tell you sisters out there. Okay. Cause I mean, we've got some junk on this planet. I'm here to tell you, but yeah, I had to put that person in their place, you know, cause I'm not that one. And then, you know, I let that person know, you know, because see, I, first of all, I let them know you're not going to have people looking at me like they want to come after me because I heard a hoe, you know, and um, I let that person know that, you know, don't play with me. I don't, you know, and I, you know, I'm not with that person like that, but don't be trying to use me as a tool because y'all, come on, ladies, y'all know how people try to use other people to make other people jealous. I guess everybody's done it at some point in their life, you know, I mean, but um, my thing is, you know, um, don't be trying to use me like that because um, I'm telling you now. I'm just really not that one. And you ladies need to stop allowing people to manipulate you and gaslight you all, you know. Because um, I, I don't know about you all, but um, I know we are supposed to turn the other cheek. But I'm telling you, I'll just, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do. I'm, I will tell y'all to turn the other cheek because it's what Father says. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to leave that alone. Just do it the way Father tells you to do it. I'm going to try to do it the way he tells me. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it the way Father tells me to do it, but I'm telling you, I am a narcissist. Worst nightmare. And the worst thing a narcissistic person could ever try to do is gaslight like me because I'm telling you, by the time I'm done with somebody like that, they will wish that they were dead. So anyway, 
all I, I'm not telling you all to be like me, but I, you know, like I said, I'm a serious person when it comes to things like that because I know that it's disrespect. And see, when you're the type of chick, you have a huge problem with disrespect. And I know I'm the type of chick. I ain't nobody to play with. You know, and I think that you sisters out there, you need to start setting your boundaries and, you know, just keep your standards. Um, and just don't be so quick to hop in the bed with these, with those types of men, because after they get what they want out of you all, they're going to move on to the next female. And not only are they going to move on to the next female, but they are going to uh, flash her in your faces. You know, they want you ladies. To see you see them with another woman, because they want to destroy you emotionally, and uh, so you know, just be careful out there, okay? And um, for you ladies out there that are single and you're just focused on your bag and what you want to do in life, I greatly encourage you to continue to do so. Uh, perhaps this is your season to do you, so do you and do you well. And as for you ladies out there, you know. You're waiting on God for a partner or you might not be waiting on God for a partner. You might just be out there searching on your own. Let me tell you something. If you're searching on your own, I would greatly encourage you to stop. Okay, I would greatly encourage you to stop because you don't have what it takes to outsmart the devil. Okay, you need Jesus Christ to be your eyes and your ears and analyze whether or not that's the man for you and reveal to your spirit whether or not if that's the man that God Almighty wants you to be with, okay? So I hope that something that I've said has assisted somebody out there. And uh, with that said, God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.